Merry Christmas, puzzlers. Today is a very special day for me. Every year, all of my eight older siblings and their families come together for a day of listening to Christmas music, playing games, and obviously exchanging gifts. It's been about the same every year, so this year is going to be strange because of quarantine. Over half of my siblings have moved out and are in their own quarantine bubbles, so our Christmas traditions have drastically changed because of that. However, even though that aspect of Christmas has essentially gone out the window, I have something else that can't be taken away from me. Today is the day I remember the birth of someone very special to me. That night, there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified, but the angel reassured them. Don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you'll recognize him by this sign. You'll find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly, the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. When the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. They hurried to the village and found Mary and Joseph. And there was the baby, lying in the manger. After seeing him, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had said to them about this child. All who heard the shepherd's story were astonished, but Mary kept all these things in her heart and thought about them often. The shepherds went back to their flocks, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen. It was just as the angel had told them. This story of warmth and light is most often told in the coldest and darkest seasons of winter. This winter may be harder for some of us than it's ever been before, but as I remember the one who was born that first Christmas day, I get to enjoy a special comforting warmth that no cold or loneliness can ever take away. Regardless of what you believe or what you do today, I hope today is a day you can reflect on the love of your family and friends and have a peaceful day. Merry Christmas.